Hi, good morning, all of you. Today we'll see LWC basic uh, interview questions. Right. Uh, so the next uh, I'm going to release a uh, module wise. Right. Uh, first of all, we'll see uh, what are the general interview questions uh, in LWC. Got it. First one. So what is a uh, a URA framework? URA is a open source framework developed by the Salesforce. It is a component-based framework to, to develop a UI components. To develop UI components. Right. Next one. What is a lightning framework? What is lightning framework? Lightning framework is a, a based on the URA framework to design and uh, develop a Salesforce URA components. Lightning framework is also developed by the Salesforce, but unlike the URA framework, it's not a open source. It's not a open source. Got it. Next. In which Salesforce release a Lightning web components were introduced? Lightning was introduced in Salesforce uh, winter. 2015 release in 2015 right so winter is there in winter release they introduced this lightning web components got it next how to create a lightning web component you cannot create lightning web component directly from your developer console you need to sfdx or a micro Microsoft Visual Studio Code to create uh, your Lightning uh, components, Lightning uh, Web uh, component. Next, is it work together with the uh, Lightning Web components and your components? The answer is uh, yes. Lightning Web components and uh, your components uh, work together uh, without any issues. Your components can contain the Lightning Web components. But uh, Lightning Web Components cannot uh, contain your component. Next, so what is uh, a track uh, decorator in JavaScript file? What is a track decorator in JavaScript file? It will keep track of the properties values whenever it changes. The decorator is used to make a property private and uh, which helps to re-render the component so whenever the property value is uh, changed whenever the uh, property value is uh, changed uh, automatically we are getting that information Next. what is a uh, generator api decorator in the javascript file it is used to expose the public property of the web components this property can be used in its parent component component next one so what is a adderet wire decorator in javascript file to access the salesforce data is what we are calling some uh, epics methods right we are calling some epics uh, methods inside my javascript file got it so lwc uses a reactive wire services lwc uses what a uh, reactive wire services the next one so what is a web stack what is a web stack collection of software application right uh, needed for the development right. so whenever you are developing something right so we need some uh, software applications for example operating system database business logic web server like it includes right web stack includes these things next one so what is a rendering what is a rendering the process of converting html tags to a meaningful readable web page with the browser is called a what rendering engine okay next so what is a standard elements the elements provided in the html library 
we can also create a uh, custom elements as per the requirement uh, which won't be part of the standard html it's called as what a uh, standard html what is an event what is an event so when the page load when the page load uh, completes or user performs uh, either mouse clicks or something uh, keyboard operations events will trigger right so which can be used to execute the java script file next so what is module what is module the module is a java script file the module is a java script file here we have a uh, two directives one is a uh, import and the second one is what a uh, export right uh, in a module we defined variables and functions which can be exported to other module by using export direct to right so to use the variable and functions of the other modules we need to import other module with the help of import direct to import direct next so what is a directory is a token so which is having some specific behavior for example import and export example import and uh, export it modifies the behavior of say an existing element uh, by assigning the value and uh, responding to the change events uh, what is the decorator what is a decorator it is a function so which is having some predefined uh, functionality it is a function so which is having some uh, predefined uh, functionality how we are writing this decorator obviously how to use at the rate then after the decorator name like api track wire similar to our apex uh, classes annotations right or inside the apex classes we are using annotations for the uh, test we are writing uh, at the rate is just like that okay. so what is a shadow dom what is a shadow dom it is just a normal dom expect the specific behavior in the relation to the rest of the page it won't be having some confluence with the styles so um, which apply to the rest of the page it maintains a separate uh, dom tree so means what alternate to the iframe alternate to the iframe. next so what are the uh, custom elements what are the custom elements custom elements can be created to extend uh, html and uh, define your own tags define your own tags next what is template what is a template it is a reusable structure in the html page it is a reusable structure in the html page but uh, it won't be rendered it won't be rendered until we refer it's in the javascript Right, so means you need to write that particular structure in our JavaScript. Next, what is a slot? It is a placeholder in the template, and the content can be placed based on the need. Next, what are the web components? What are the web components? It holds a collection of web platforms AIs and allows to create a custom functionality which can be used in the web pages which can be used in the web pages next what are the lighting web components lighting web components user lighting web component uses a core web component standards lwcr custom html elements builds using html and a modern java script next so what is the class in javascript file a class is a type of function but instead of using the keyword function to initiate it we use the keyword class and the properties is assigned inside the constructor method inside the class so what is a scratch or what is scratch or scratch or is a disposable salesforce org used for the development and uh, testing scratch can be created for the maximum of uh, 30 days 
after which a scratch or a gets deactivated. The default duration for the scratchers is uh, seven days. Next. Lightning Web Component uh, Bundle. Lightning Web Component uh, Bundle. LWC Bundle contains a HTML file, JavaScript file, and a metadata configuration file. And these files are created once uh, we created a LWC. Lightning Web Component. Then CSS in Lightning Web Component Bundle. We can also create a CSS file for styling purpose, and we can also create a SVG file for the purpose of uh, displaying the icon. Next, how to render the HTML file conditionally? How to render the HTML file conditionally? If you want to render the HTML conditionally, so we can make use of uh, if if having a two properties one is uh, if true if false if true if uh, false right so we can use this one a nested template tag got it if colon true equals to the property name in the curly bracket we have to use the property name if it is false if colon false equals to within the curly bracket we have to use the property name how to iterate over an array in the HTML file? So we can make use of a for each directory and a iterator direct. For each and a iterator directors, both we can use. Example for each director. So for each director is used to render an array. To render an array, add the for each director to the nested template tag. Got it. In this, uh, we are using for item. For item is used to access the current item. Later, next one is what? For index is used to access the current uh, index. Got it? So whenever we are using for each, uh, inside that we have to use uh, for item and for index. If you're using iterative directive, if you have the requirement to access the first and last element, right? Uh, so in the list, use the iterative directory. Next one. What are the types of decorators in LWC? So we have three decorators in LWC. API, track, wire. At the rate API, at the rate track, at the rate wire. Next. So what is the file structure of the Lightning Web Components? We have a folder. Inside the folder, we have a HTML file, JavaScript file, js metaxml file, .csv file, .svg file. So whenever you are creating the LWC, right, Lightning Web Components, you have to keep in mind these points. What are they? Cannot contain the hyphens. The name cannot contain the hyphens. So must begin with the lower case. Is a letter always a start with a small letter the name name of the component cannot include the white space contains only alphanumeric or underscore characters cannot end with an underscore must be unique in the namespace cannot contain two consecutive underscore got it so when we're creating live component we have to Keep in mind these things. Next, how can you display the components? Lightning Web Components are HTML conditionally. To render HTML conditionally, add the if true or false directory to a nested template tag that encloses the conditional content. Next one, how we can bind the data in LWC. In the template, surround the property, so which we call the brackets, right? so we have to use a property. To compute a value for the property, so use a JavaScript, uh, a getter in the JavaScript class, 
means what a get property get property open parenthesis and close the parenthesis and then after you have to use the a property name right next to the template the property can be a javascript identifier right javascript identifier or a dot notation that access the property from an object object of field name like that right so person dot first name person dot last name person dot email like that lwc does not allow the computed expressions like uh, uh, for example person right uh, two dot name like that so don't add spaces around the property got it so whenever using curly bracket don't add the spaces between the properties for example curly bracket we have a of course right the bracket to the p no need to add the spaces it's why because it's not a, a valid html next so how we can pass the data from html to the javascript controller so uh, we can use the on change attribute to listen for a change to its value when the value is changes the handler change the function in the javascript uh, javascript uh, file got it next one so how we can iterate uh, the list in lightning web components so we have two options so you know that is that is first one is what for each and second one is what uh, iterator can we display multiple templates the answer is yes yes we can we can import the multiple html templates and write the business logic that render from conditionally so this pattern is similar to the code splitting you use it in some uh, javascript framework like, what are the public properties in uh, lightning web components so public properties are the reactive if the value of the property the value of the public property changes the components uh, re-renders to expose the public property the decorative field with the aggregate api the public properties defines the api of the component how to set property from parent component to the child component how to set the property from parent component to the child component so to communicate down the containment hierarchy an owner can set a property on the child component an attribute in the html turns into the a property assignment in a java script how we can pass the data from parent component to the child component lwc support lwc support so one way data transfer from parent to child a non primitive value a non primitive value like a object or an error a non primitive value passed to the component is read only so the component cannot change the content of the object or array as a result of the component tries to change the content so we'll get the errors next can we have pay Pagination in LWC? The answer is yes. By using server side controller with the offset in the SQL query, so we can get the pagination. Explain lookup in LWC. There are two lightning web components. First one is what LWC lookup and the lookup container. LWC lookup contains the actual code to fetch the records and display as a lookup. Lookup and Container shows how to call the lookup and its properties. Got it? So the next time I'm going to share the module wise interview questions for the administration, development, Eura uh, uh, framework, and LWC and integration velocity, right? A uh, sales cloud, service cloud, a marketing cloud. So different, different the products and different different uh, entry questions uh, with the uh, module wise right and then after i'm going to provide uh, what are the latest new things uh, we have uh, inside the salesforce have a nice day so thanks for watching right so please subscribe to this channel to get the latest information in the salesforce
Thank you. Bye.